Hello everyone and welcome to Retail Archaeology. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Radio Shack Electronic TV Scoreboard. But before we get too much in detail into this first generation video game console, I guess you could call it, I wanted to talk a little bit more about Radio Shack in particular. Um, I noticed a few weeks ago, maybe about a month ago, their Twitter account came back to life. And then uh, people have been pointing out in the uh, last video that I did about them that you know, their logo Radio Shack is actually still open. So I kind of wanted to talk about that, clear it up, and report some kind of cool news about Radio Shack. Um, firstly, not all of the Radio Shack stores closed. All of the corporate-owned Radio Shack stores closed, which was the vast majority of them. They also auctioned off everything in their corporate offices and closed that. So from a corporate store retail perspective, Radio Shack is dead. However, 70 or so uh, franchise stores remained open and still remain open to this day and that actually doesn't surprise me because they're in weird places like Ajo, Arizona, like these weird outlying areas and they still service needs there. So those Radio Shack franchises have actually still been operating and I actually even saw a story about a new Radio Shack franchise uh, store opening. So there's even new Radio Shack stores starting to, to pop up just using the franchise model. So I found that kind of interesting. and. From what I understand, they're more like the old school Radio Shacks that you remember where they cater to, I mean they sell cell phones and stuff too, but they cater to the hobbyist, the DIY person, and, and carry old parts and stuff like that, which I think is really cool, but now that we've got that out of the way and some cool news, let's talk about the Radio Shack electronic TV scoreboard. Now this uh, thing, this particular model came out in 1979, but uh, Radio Shack marketed something called the Radio Shack electronic TV scoreboard uh, as far back as 1976 and they've always been uh, Pong units, just this was the first time it was available in this form factor. And also in 1979, there was a second version of this also available, it was uh, the same like form factor and design, just the color scheme was slightly different, and there was actually a light gun that plugs into it, and it came with two additional uh, light gun games, which that's really cool, and I wish I had that one, but I have this one, and I, what's really cool is I have the box for it too. And it's not in the best of shape ever, but I love having stuff like this again from 1979. I imagine this thing is, um, if my analytics are correct on YouTube, uh, a majority of my viewers are younger than this thing is. This thing's older than them, and believe it or not, it's actually older than me too. Uh, I was actually born after 1979, a few years after that, so it's older than I am. So I love having the box for it, and it just it has a late 70s, early 80s aesthetic. Even down at the top of the box, there's this picture of a, of a grandma I'm assuming that's a grandma and a grandson uh, playing the game, like sitting on an old couch you know, in a living room on an old TV. And I just happen to have an old TV like that here, an old black and white TV. And this one's actually from, uh, I believe, manufactured in 1976. So this TV is actually slightly older than this Pong unit. Um, also, what's neat about the box is it's got, I have the original Radio Shack price tag on here, $21.95. Now, in the catalog, it was originally listed at $29.95 for this version, and then the one with the light gun. Uh, was $39.95 and as you can see mine still works it's you know you turn the dials and it moves the paddles and if I hit the serve button it'll serve I can't it's kind of hard to play that way but it'll serve the ball so it still works And there's actually a few games built into it so before we get into that though I kind of want to show how this thing hooks up because like I mentioned this is a first generation video game console this was generation one and I kind of want to show how it hooks up and also if you do find one of these and you don't happen to have an old 1970s TV laying around with awesome wood grain and stuff, uh, how you could possibly hook this up to a modern TV. There's still a jack on some modern TVs that you can hook this up to, and you really won't need more than a little adapter that's a few dollars. So let's let's take a look and see how this thing hooked up and how it worked, and we'll uh, we'll play with it a little bit and see how that how we'll see how my kid likes it. You know, she's really young, so we'll see how she likes something you know playing something that's older than her dad. So here's the back of my old black and white television. It was actually manufactured in 1977, but for those of you of a certain age, you will recognize those screws. So that's what you originally used to hook this up to a TV was something like that. You would hook up something like this Radio Shack Game and TV switch box. And then the uh, Pong unit itself has a cable like this. And you would think that that looks like an RCA jack, but it will not plug right into the TV. You've got to plug it into this jack right here, which is really hard to do one-handed, and then you would be good to go. Now, obviously modern TVs do not have these kind of connectors and everything, so what you can get for a few dollars, and if you actually have a Radio Shack store around you, you can, you can get it from there or you can order from Amazon for a few bucks, but it's something like this, 
and uh, I wish the camera would focus on that. But basically what you do is instead of plugging it into a switch box like this, you just plug this. That was also not easy to do one-handed, but as you can see here, that just plugs right into that and then you can screw this right onto the coax jack of a TV. And some modern TVs do still have that coax jack. If yours doesn't, you shouldn't have a hard time tracking down something at a thrift store that has that kind of connection. You just screw this in, tune it to the appropriate channel, and you're good to go. All right, so now we're gonna check out some of the actual games on this thing. And there's four games built in. There's tennis, which is basically Pong. And then hockey, squash, and practice, which is a one-player game. And you just you select the game you want by turning the knob here. And uh, the other cool thing is, is this comes off, so player two can have their own controller. Here you go. Thank you. And uh, how old do you think this thing is? Fifty? No, almost. It's 39 years old, so it's older than Daddy. Wow. Pretty old. So, uh, yeah, we'll try some of the games out on this thing and see what an eight-year-old thinks of a 39-year-old video game. Okay, so we're going to start out with tennis. And there's different options on here. There's a switch for ball speed, which I have it set to slow because when it's set to... I'll show you what it is, but it's fast. There's also bat size, so we have it set to large, but there's small. I don't like it like that. Do you like it like that? No. No, me neither. <laughs> and then there's a slice, which changes the angle so that it bounces off. And then there's a serve, which there's manual or auto serve. The weird thing is only the player one has the serve button, though. That's interesting to me. But let's, uh, let's play around a Pong. It goes to 15. Oh. <laughs> Why is it not serving? Oh, there we go. Some of the buttons, this thing's 39 years old, so some of the buttons take a few presses. Ah, damn it. <laughs> and so yeah, tennis is, is basically pong. So now if I push serve, the ball's gonna come to me now because there we go. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna speed the ball up. Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna speed the ball up and then lose it. <laughs> okay, serve. Whoa! That's. Ha! Huh? Okay, we're not gonna do that. That's too fast. Alright, and then let's do, let's do. Oh, slice is on max. I'm gonna set it to minimum and see what's different. Okay, serve. It's gonna come to you. Come on, serve. There we go. Oh, it's just the angle. It just changes how hard. Okay, let's try. What is it? Three to three? Okay, next, we'll play to five. First person to five wins. Yay. Okay, and we'll, I'm going to set this back to max. All right, serve. <laughs> Remember that side? Unfortunately, this thing's 39 years old, so her control, you, you got to kind of go down hard. See, yeah, if you, if you do it quickly, there's a little bit of a, there you go. There you go. Oh. Oh, no, I got to five. Okay, so let's check out hockey. Now, hockey... Huh? See, now you've got, each player has two paddles. One that's their goalie, which is the, the one like mine's on the far right. And then I'm also controlling the other one on the other side of the line. Yeah. So let me push for set. Okay. There oh. we go. I'm the one moving right now. Okay. So I'm going to serve it. Whoa. Ah. And Whoa. you can see the goal is smaller. So that kind of, oh. I actually like the, ooh. I got you. Come on, sir. There we go. It's a satisfying click. But the. Oh, that time it worked. Oh, London, you bounced it into your own. Really? Really? Ah, you moved it out of the way! I'm so bad at this game, but I love it. Whoa. Screen flicker. Oh. I got zero. the five. I okay. Zero. Then there's squash, which this is. So this is like if you ever played like wall ball in elementary. You guys, did you guys play wall ball in elementary school? Probably not. They probably don't even play that anymore with a tennis ball or a racquetball. So it's like racquetball. Basically, you take turns hitting it off the side. I'm sure. I don't know. I've never played squash before, but so I'll show you. So I think. Oh. I can oh, let me reset it. See? See? There you go. 
Oh, now it's my hit, I think. So I now you have to hit it. Oh! Okay, so now when I serve it again, you have to hit it. Okay, not me. I'm this one here. You're the one right behind me. Okay, so you have to hit it. Now I have to hit it. Oh! Okay, now when I serve, I have to hit it the first time. There we go. Now you hit it. I like this one. Oh. I'm not so okay. No, you, I mean, you gotta practice. Daddy's had a little, oh. Yeah, Daddy's gonna have to, oh. Daddy's gonna have to clean the potentiometer. That's what that little the piece inside. The piece inside that spins, that's called the potentiometer. <laughs> so, you wanna try some tennis again? Well, let me show practice real quick. So practice is one player. And it's just like squash with one player just oh jeez. You said it. You just bounce it off the wall basically with yourself. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Anyways, let's go back to tennis and play that, because that one's the easiest. And reset it. You have to reset it in between. I know. Like if you look at it, like the like the little ping pong things, you put them in the right place, they look like blush on the cheeks and like the line in the middle. Like, looks, looks like, like a face. Like a nose, and then like the eyes are the two zeros, and then there's the mouth down <laughs> here, and then this is like the top of the head. <laughs> You're so creative. <laughs> um, it makes ooh, I'm getting sweaty from the lights. So, something else interesting that I wanted to note while we're playing this is that I mentioned they started selling this in 1976. This particular version is from 1979. In the 1983 catalog, if you look, there's this item still listed in there, and then there, there's actually something called the Tandy Vision 1, and it's a Radio Shack branded in television, which I didn't know. But funnily enough, in the 1984 catalog, there's no more video games. I wonder why that is. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to keep playing... Oh no, it's tied. Let's play one more to five, and then we'll roll it out. What do you? So what do you think of this thing? You like it? Yeah, but when it's like different numbers, when it's like two and two, like it just makes it look like they're not eyes anymore, and it's like these are the eyes. So what is your, what do you think? Do you like this better, or do you like the Nintendo Switch better? Uh, I think I like the Nintendo, I like them equally. You like, you like? Actually, the Nintendo Switch a little bit better. You like the Nintendo Switch a little bit better? Yeah. Come on. Oh. That's what this is good for, though. That's what this was meant for, was picking up and, and playing, you know, just for a few minutes at a time. Do you want to you play this with Grandma, like on how in the box it has yeah. a little boy playing with Grandma? You want to see your Grandma play some Pong? Yes. Yeah. We should ask her the next time she's here. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you for uh, watching my video on the uh, electronic TV scoreboard from Radio Shack, a handheld handheld of course it is but it's a pong unit basically with a few games plugged in let me know what you think if you want to see more videos like this uh, down in the comments below and as always thanks for watching julie ready to go are you kidding hey you want to play hockey we got a new tv scoreboard game from radio shack sure radio shack's fast action tv games play hockey tennis squash and more easy hook up to any tv i'm ready a great gift idea and they're on sale. Six game model, just $29.95. Four game model, $19.95. An exciting entertainment bargain for year-round fun. The sale price, TV games. Only at Radio.